Timberock, Zerton, and Alicorn into the parking lot in front of me, please. Teamwork is a big part of the lesson plan at this unique school in Arvada. Well, we went down to the storehouse and just figured out what kind of garbage we have down there that we could potentially get them across a parking lot of burning hot lava. To do that, they use rope, plywood, and rolling chairs. After the creative experiment outside, the students have a pep rally inside. It's not for a football or basketball team, though. It's for the school itself. When you go to your left and to your right, that is your brother and that is your sister. In an old building across the street from one of Arvada's future Gold Line stations Woo! is a charter school for grades 6 through 12. It's called the Early College of Arvada. Nobody knows where we are. We're, we're right at, at 60th and Sheridan. I didn't know any, much about it. Like. The most, most people want to tell them about the school. I didn't even know where it was. It opened seven years ago and is now on a mission. We're looking for $100,000. I know that sounds like a big number. A fundraising effort is underway to buy the building rather than spend $36,000 a month on rent. The annual Colfax Marathon in May is a way for students and staff to raise money by getting sponsors for each of their teams. The school's director recently visited the Arvada Chamber of Commerce breakfast to help spread the word about the school and the race. Eglin Galindo! Straight-A senior Eglin Galindo is running the race. He's considered a true example of the school's mission, to get kids to college. Eglin has lived uh, with a number of different relatives and friends and strangers in places as harsh as on a cement floor in the back of a basement. But here, Galindo is thriving. Like Galindo, 57% of the students here are ethnic minorities. 51% qualify for free or reduced lunch based on income. And 55% would be first generation college graduates. For some, their lives at home are not so happy. School becomes their safe haven. Coming here and knowing that the college classes are for free, then you're already building your college transcript as you're here. I think what makes us unique is our partnership with the University of Colorado at Denver. Every child who enters our high school has the ability to take college courses through the University of Colorado at Denver in their 11th and 12th grade years. That's what makes these students attractive to colleges around the country. And not only does Galindo already have college credit, he got a near perfect score on his ACT. He's applied to Harvard and Yale. So we have 100% college admission coming out of here. That's just unheard of across the United States. I felt like I could be here forever because I just enjoyed it so much. When Emily Ann and her dad visited the early college of Arvada, she fell in love with the small classes, diverse culture, and camaraderie. When she walked out the door of this school, um, she told us this is where she wanted to be. They choose to come here. We are a free, public, open charter school. And a lot of children who find success here were children that didn't fit in at other schools. There are 286 students, but once the school is purchased, there's money for the school to grow. And once we do that, it really opens doors for so many more kids and, and we can really fill the building. It's Amy Ward Bailey. It's clear from their pep rally that school pride runs deep. We're a family. We take care of each other. Are you ready? And so this family does a practice race outside to run not just for their future, but the future of their school. One and two, here we go. For more information about the Early College of Arvada and its fundraising effort, visit ecarvada.org. <laughs>